well with traffic. 2 2. And this is a base hit to right by Diaz. He comes through yet again. And the Rockies take a 1 0 lead. That's huge on a couple of fronts. The way McGill has been pitching in this first he again. It today. And he gets curveball and hits it down to third. McMahon's play will have to be to first. The run comes home. Breaking for third is Lindor. He'll make it there safely. And the Mets tie the game at one. All in too slowly for McMahon to think about coming home. And Nimmo comes home with the Mets' first run to tie it. Well, with the infield back, all you want to do is Pete's make sure you don't strike out or pop up. In left center field. Two strikes on Charlie. And he drives this ball with authority to left. And Pham lays out, makes the catch, tagging and scoring is Tovar. Behind in the count, Charlie Blackman gets it done. Two to one, Colorado. I mean, that was shoulder high, kind of tomahawked it to left. Pham made a good play. This is what we talk about getting a pitch elevated, but Charlie. This was a throw for me at, at that time. And, uh, I would do the pre and post. That ground ball will tie the game. Tovar throws out Lindor. Alvarez comes in. It's two to two. That so would be WHN, which became WFAN. Yeah. Gritchick and Bryant aboard. Both walked. And this ball line to center field. Diaz comes through yet again. Here comes Gritchick around third, heading home. And the Rockies take a three to two lead. And the extraordinary start for Elias Diaz continues. This ball high and deep left field. If it's fair, it is gone. It is a fair ball. Two run home run, Ezekiel Tovar, his second of the year. And the Rockies take a 5-2 to two lead. You know how Deion Sanders up in Boulder keeps saying, we're coming? Yep. Guess what? To the left of the bag at second. This is hooked to second, and it's an easy play for Castro. And the Rockies win this late afternoon Saturday affair. In New